CBS News Detroit sports anchor Rachel Hopmeyer joins us now. And you spent last weekend at Michigan International Speedway. How was that? It was great. As a kid who grew up on NASCAR, it's so exciting to be entrenched in the Michigan motorsports scene these days. Michigan has a long history of racing. The first car race in our state took place in October 1901 between none other than Henry Ford and Alex Winton. 67 years later, Michigan International Speedway opened, and today, the two-miler is known as the fastest track in NASCAR, thanks to her long straightaways, wide corners, and 18 degrees of banking, and of course, lack of restrictor plates. It's also known as the hometown stop for Brian Wilson, Team Penske's longest tenured active road crew member. Brian Wilson grew up in Macomb, on the edge of Metro Detroit, just over 100 miles away from Michigan International Speedway. Growing up there, I mean, obviously my dad, he worked at GM, so, uh, you know, thinking about just blue collar, uh, thinking about, you know, obviously automobiles, racing. Um, there's a great racing community. A lot of people I work with in the garage now were in Michigan. Um, my dad worked in the sport as well, so I think about that side of it. But um, I also come from a sports background. My grandfather worked, uh, you know, he was a coach, and he worked in the press box at uh, Michigan Stadium. So um, just the sports side of things, uh, it, it definitely, you know, it's a sports town. Uh, still a huge sports fan. Um, growing up, you know, I, I sold pretzels at the, at the Silver Devil. So, um, you know, growing up in, in a town that loves to compete, that loves sports, it, uh, it kind of shaped who I am. My first racing memory probably would have been at Flat Rock. You know, my dad raced a lot in the area. He went to Toledo, you know, mid-Michigan. Um, just kind of raced a lot of the tracks around here, but Flat Rock kind of was our home track. It's amazing. It's it's uh, rough. It's rowdy. A lot of hard racing there. You know, it's a tough track. If you can win there, uh, you can probably go other, you know, other tracks in the area and win. But um, yeah, definitely, uh, it's a tough place to race. In 2004, Team Penske found themselves looking for a shock specialist mid-season after Wilson handed did former co-owner John Erickson his resume right here in the MIS garage. Roy McCauley, a guy that just passed away, he uh, he was the guy that called me and told me that uh, it was, you know, it was my job. And I, I told him, hey, you know, I kind of would like to stay with my team for a little while. It's, you know, I want to finish the season out. And uh, and Roy looked or said to me, he was like, um, down here we play hardball, son. Um, either you want to do it or you don't. And so I packed up and that week I made the transition. With that team, I was able to not only be a shock specialist, but also work at the seven post, which is a, a test rig to work on shocks and setups. Um, so I, I got a huge experience and education there. 20 years later, Wilson is crew chief for the number two Ford Mustang team. With driver Austin Sindrick, the two have pushed each other to new heights. I mean, the first time I heard that he was the longest active you know, guy on the road for, for Team Penske on the NASCAR side, like, it's kind of hard to believe because like he doesn't really strike you as an old guy. Like, I mean, he's he's been around the sport a while and since he's been really young, but um, he's seen a lot of stuff. And I feel like, I think the reason why that surprises even me, it surprises you because he is very modest. He isn't you know very flashy or showboaty. Like he just kind of does his job, enjoys the people he's around, and and does his job well. And, that, and that's really it. He, he doesn't need to show that he's the biggest dog in the, in, in the pound. Like he just does his job and enjoys it. So he's really the guy as a crew chief that I kind of developed my style, um, our style, and you know, obviously being able to do it at this level is, is incredible, get a win. Like when we won a gateway, that's the first thing I said to him. I was like, dude, we did it, like, we did it. Like our process works. Every driver who has driven the number two has won a championship. And with their work cut out for them, Wilson takes inspiration from his favorite teams back home. I love what Dan Campbell's been doing with the Lions, man. It's been incredible and it's it's uh, inspirational, um, you know. But uh, I'm a I'm a Wings fan and I'm a Pistons fan. Like I grew up in the heyday of the Bad Boys, right? So I'm um, really curious to see what Eisman's doing. Um, love to see all the teams and the way that they're working on things. I, I honestly think a lot of the teams kind of parallel what I'm trying to do with our group, where we're trying to build and and become a contender for a championship. The number two team with driver Austin Sindrick is currently ranked 19th in the NASCAR Cup Series. The team will look to make a jump this weekend at the Coke Zero Sugar 400 in Daytona tomorrow night. There's only two races left before playoffs start on September 8th. Fascinating. Cool to see yeah. behind the scenes a little bit. That's what I think. People deserve to know that at the helm of this crew, there's a true Michigan man leading it. And again, it's there, he's not the only one. Brad Keselowski is probably the most famous driver from our state. There's so much racing that happens right here. Yeah. Good Michigan place to be. Michigan Bakers love their racing. Now they feel even more connected. Yeah.